This is question number 20 from the June 2016 Algebra Regents exam. We've got a dot plot here that sh is showing the number of pets owned by students in a class. And it looks like we're looking for a statement about the data that's not true. And so we're dealing with median, interquartile range, mean, and outliers. So I can tell right away, the way this dot plot is shown is a bit difficult to, to see. And if we're going to be trying to calculate these different things, it would really help to have a list of the data instead. So the first thing we should do is write out this list of numbers. So we have two zeros to start off, two ones. After that, there's five twos, one, two, three, four, five, five threes, one, two, three, four, five. Then we've got three fours, so one, two, three, a couple fives, and then finally one six. By the way, I can tell right away that option number four is is, um, is actually true. So an outlier is basically any number that stands out from being extremely different from the rest. For example, if someone owned 20 pets, that would be an outlier. Um, and so we can see with this data that that's not the case. So we can cross that one out for sure as not being one of the answers. The next thing I'm gonna test is to see if number one is correct, if the median is in fact three. Now if we're able to, if we're counting the number of numbers in this list, well actually, you know what, I think an easier way to find the median is to kind of count from left and from right moving inwards. So basically I can check these off and then the next two and then the next two Maybe there's a faster way of doing this. I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Oh, look at that. So we actually have two numbers as the median here, so we would need to find the average between 3 and 3, which is pretty easy. It's just 3. So the median is, in fact, 3. So again, we're looking for the one that's not true, so that's not going to work. So now let's test out if the interquartile range is, in fact, 2. Now to, in, to find the interquartile range, we're going to split all of the, day, the list into two halves. And because we already found the median here, I know that I can split it in half like this. So we've got uh, 10 numbers on the left and 10 numbers on the right. So to find the interquartile range, what we're going to do is find the median for both sides. And I know that with 10 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so these two numbers are in the middle on the left, so the median of that is two. And then of the 10 numbers on the right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So these two numbers are the middle of the right-hand side, so the median on the left side is two. And you may have um, heard of this called uh, Q3 and Q minus Q1. That's the formula to find the interquartile range. Um, so number four, this is our Q3, and this is our Q1. So to find the interquartile range, we're going to subtract those numbers. And 4 minus 2 is, in fact, 2. So this is also correct, which means the answer needs to be this one. And um, if you wanted to test it out, remember to calculate the mean of a list of data. We would add up all the numbers together and divide by how many numbers there are. And if you were to do that, um, the numbers add up to 55. You would divide it by 20 numbers, and the mean is actually 2.75, not 3. So option number 3 is the correct answer because it is not true. That's it for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.